All right, everybody, welcome back to Around the Clock Sonic News. And can you believe it? It's already been 25 years since the original launch of the Sega Dreamcast. And man, I'm getting old. Now, Sega is celebrating this occasion in a major way, so let's get into it. Over on Twitter, they officially announced, Happy 25th birthday to the Sega Dreamcast. Our iconic console launched on September 9th, 1999, revolutionizing gaming with innovative features and unforgettable classics from Sonic Adventures to Shenmue. Which Dreamcast games are you playing to celebrate? Now, they also stated this, Happy 25th anniversary to the Sega Dreamcast. To celebrate, the team at Limited Run Games has created an exclusive collection of products including trading cards, tees, hoodies, hats, skate decks, and more. And if you head over to Limited Run Games, you'll see this. They have a slew of different products that are available right now, I believe just for pre-order at this point in time. And I believe the pre-orders will start shipping out at the end or the middle of October. You see there starting at the top left, you have the Sega Dreamcast Trading Cards Booster Box for $124.99. The Sega Dreamcast Trading Cards Hobby Box for $24.99. You got a card binder for $19.99, a card sleeve pack for $5.99, a card storage box for $9.99, a hat for $31.99, a shirt for $29.99, hoodies for $54.99, a skate deck for $74.99, an official coin for $9.99, a Dreamcast keychain for $9.99, and an enamel pin for $14.99. So hey, if you're interested, head over to LimitedRunGames.com. Now like I said before, it's crazy to think that this console is officially 25 years old and it initially launched in 1999. I was in high school at that point in time and I was so grateful that my parents actually bought me this console. I played Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Jet Set Radio was my ish. I also played a bunch of Soul Calibur as well as a bunch of Power Stone Part 1 and Part 2, man. I wasn't really into Shenmue like that, but I did play some Crazy Taxi as well. And it's crazy to think that the Dreamcast has some really cool first party games and third party games, but a lot of people really don't give the Dreamcast its due, man. It was a great console for what it was. Now, it is also good to see that Sega is bringing back some of these games to the modern consoles. If you remember last year during the Game Awards, they announced a revival of a bunch of old school games, old school franchises, including some Dreamcast games, Crazy Taxi, as well as Jet Set Radio. And we also can't forget about Power Stone 1 and 2 coming to the Capcom Fighting Collection Part 2 next year in 2025, along with Project Justice and Plasma Sword. So yeah, man, the Dreamcast games are back for a small revival and I'm all here for it, man. I still have my Dreamcast to this day and I dusted it off today to see if it still works and it still works, man. And Soul Calibur was in the console. So yeah, man, I have some great memories with the Dreamcast and it's unbelievable again that it's been 25 years. So what do you all think about this? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, make sure to like this video, share this video, and for all of you watching this video right now and are not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on daily Sonic News content and I'll catch you guys in the next video.